I'll just wait a few more minutes to see if anybody else logs on. Um, so, hi, I'm Victoria. I'm a student physiotherapist and I'm on placement with Connect Health at the moment. Um, this, I'm going to be taking you through a 20 to 30 minute live exercise class specifically for people with osteoporosis. Um, but the exercises are quite general, so even if you don't have osteoporosis, please feel free to join in. Um, exercise is recommended for people with osteoporosis, um, so this is why I'm doing this class. Um, osteoporosis is a condition where your bones get weaker. Um, this is due to the fact that they lose bone density and lose bone strength. Um, our bones get weaker as we age anyway, um, as bone is a living tissue and it's constantly renewing itself. As old bone breaks down, it gets replaced by new, healthier bone. Um, but as we age, the old bone gets broken down faster than the new bone can replace it. Um, so this is what happens with osteoporosis and why it's more common when we get older. Um, exercise is recommended for osteoporosis um, as it can promote um, encourage bone density like bone strength and growth and also encourage muscle strength and muscle mass development um, which is great for everything really and reducing risk of falls and maintaining independence. Exercise is also great for um, anyone as we're aging. Um, the benefits are such as like maintaining muscle mass, improving cognitive function, function, reducing disease risk, um, it's opportunity for social engagement and it's improves your balance and reduces your risk of falls and everything. So it's great for everyone, not just people with osteoporosis, but that is the class. class. Um, just a bit of safety before we get started. Please make sure you're wearing comfortable clothing that doesn't restrict movement, some supportive shoes, um, that a water bottle at the ready, um, and a clear space to exercise in. Um, what we'll need to exercise with us today is a chair and a, some little weights. I've got these two hand weights that you can use, to, like a can of baked beans or whatever you've got, like a water bottle. Um, it will be the same benefit, it's just that I've got weights with me. Um, this class is primarily for people who have been advised to exercise by their GP or physio. Um, anyone is welcome to join the class, but you're doing so at your own risk. Um, please do not attempt this class if you've got a heart condition, uncontrolled diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, dizziness, low no low known loss of consciousness, or any other reason why you should not be exercising. If you're unsure whether this class is safe for you, then please contact a healthcare professional before starting. Um, if in the class you notice any chest pain or dizziness or severe shortness of breath, please stop exercising and get help if necessary. So, today's class will involve a short warm up, followed by some strength exercises, some balance exercises, and a small cool down. Um, I will explain and demonstrate each of the exercises as we're going through. I'll do a regression, so an easier option, and a progression, so a harder option. So it means that anyone can really join in on this class. Um, remember to work within your own limits. You know your own body better than I do, um, but we do want you to be pushing to a level of fatigue so it's actually getting benefit. Um, so basically make it a little bit harder for yourself and we really see the results when you're progressing exercises. This um, class will be part of a series, a three-part series, and throughout that we're going to look to progress the exercises to get those optimal results and benefits from doing the exercises. Okay, I'm going to get my stopwatch at the ready, um, which means we can just get started with a warm-up. So get your water out, your chair out, and your hand weights out, and we'll just get started. So we're just going to do a really gradual warm-up to get started. So um, we're just going to start by doing some really exaggerated shoulder rolls. So that's really bending the knees as we come down. You can see we just doing really some exaggerated shoulder rolls. We're just going to do that for 30 seconds. So really bring your shoulders back and round and bend the knees to get your head to move up and bend your knees at the same time. So that's going. This is okay, I can hear my knees a bit so I do this and I do
just trying to get the movie made again. Again, we'll see if you like this back then. Now we're just going to get into some more to this one. Then we can do this one. We can do this one. We can swing the arms, just get into the medium. And then we're going to do that. So we're marching. A little bit warmer and um, get ready for the strength exercises that we're about to do. Um, so, the next few exercises we're going to do so there's four we've got four strength exercises. Um, what we're going to do is do 10 reps of each, so that means you're going to be doing each movement 10 times, um, and then we're going to move straight on to the next exercise. So, it's a bit more of a circuit style movement. We're going to be going from one exercise to the next, do the four exercises, and we'll have a minute rest. Do all four exercises again and have another minute rest. So I'll explain each exercise as we go and hopefully it can make sense to you. Okay. The first one we've got today is a sit to stand. So this is sit your chair, make sure it's a nice I'll try and do it So what we want to do is quite literally, I'm just going to tilt this down very And if you're finding that quite hard, an easier version would be to use a higher seat or perhaps one with arm rests, like an armchair, and it can help you push off. But really do try to use, um, really do try to use your legs and do it without your arms if possible. If that's too easy for you, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold on to some weight. halfway. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get started with that. I'm going to choose the wasted option again. I'll do it from the side. Um, so we can do it. It's one, two, try and push up the same. My muscles work. Three, three, three. There's also the balance of the Looking along. Half muscles help you get up the bed. Just the full knee trap there. Then come up. Turn it off, count four. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
Exercise you're going to do is a push up, or some people might call it press up, so that's it, the same thing. Um, I'm going to do it on my knees. Um, an easier version would be pushing my You want to get your weight for this one, or just one weight because we'll change arms. So you can turn on this arm. So, so you might want to do You want your leg, and you want to the opposite to the arm that's holding your weight. So you want your hips facing forward, so I want one straight line facing the chair, for example. You want the arm to hold you. And you back. You don't want to be looking forward, you don't want to flex your neck but out down. You want a really straight flat back with a flat neck and spine to join together. And then you hang your arm down to your weight of choice, whether that's a kind of a back. Then you turn on your back. If you found any of those exercises previously too easy, then we're going to use a bit of compression this time. We're going to push on the top to the end of the time. Okay, so that's one minute rest up already. I'm going to do that. I'm not 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 going to do
see how this goes first. Okay, so with a squat, it's exactly the same if you wouldn't be using the chair. Okay, so we're gonna go three, two, one. Okay, so one, we try and there, my knee's cracking. <laughs> two, try and keep that flat back, facing the forward, really engaging those glute muscles. Five, and engaging your core the whole time to stay well. Now we can, now you know the exercises, we can move straight on to the next one. And do car poses again. Remember to hold on to the chair if you're struggling to balance when you do this. Okay, so I'm going to do the weights again. Two, one. Definitely lost travel. One knee, raise the top, ten, great. Now the third exercise, back into those push-ups. So remember to do it on the wall if you're struggling with it, or on the on your knees, move them further away to make it more difficult. And this time we said you can go onto your <laughs> but um, you can always use a heavy weight if that's too easy um, or sort of a higher chair. That's a really easy exercise to do with a lighter weight. Okay, so the strength part of the class is done. We're going to move on to some balance exercises now. Um, obviously, balance exercises are really important. People with osteoporosis for reducing the risk of falls. Making So the first exercise I'm going to do, you can either hold on to the chair to do it, or you can do it without the chair, it's up to you. It's going to be a plank. We're just going to lunge forwards, to the side, up. We're going to do that for each leg five times. Um, don't feel like you have to go all the way down to the lunge, I'm going all the way down there. But even if you just get there, that's great. Hold on to the chair, even if you're big, balance. Um, Obviously, it makes it harder to further down from the lunge you go. Um, and stuff. And, and when you lunge over, you put that up. Just uh, imagine you just put your head just keep it nice up to the feet and you're sinking down into it. Okay, so you're going to get the knee. We're going to do this one to the I'm going to switch legs as 
my head. Baby. You could have switched. <laughs> and like I said, balance exercises are really good for people who are still frozen. Or just anyone in general. Increasing your stability. Now, I'm going to count it correctly. Just start to walking again. Last one, all the way around. Awkward. And start. Great. Right. To get a drink of water, you need to. I don't think I gave enough sufficient rest after the swimming exercise. Um, and the next one we're going to do is a uh, single. Um, so this can be holding onto the chair or just on its own. We're going to aim for 30 seconds on each leg. Um, if you want to make it easier, like I said, you can hold on to the chair. And if you want to make it harder, um, I'll show you. So it's literally just going to be single legs down. to really quick cool down just stretch off those muscles and mobilize those muscles that we've used today um, and get our heart rate to back to resting i know that i feel like i've done some exercise now my breathing rate's increased your heart rate's increased so we're just going to do some really gentle walking on the spot try and get our heart rate back down to normal so i can see that my heart rate's gone up even <laughs> Okay, and now we're going to start doing some really gentle arm rotations. You can do two arms, you can do one arm, the other. We're just stretching out those muscles we did, we used when we were doing this press up, these chest muscles here. And we're just bent over rows. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Just really let that heart rate return to normal. That's why we did the single leg stand last as well. Okay, that's great. Then we're just going to go into really gentle stepping weights, but not as fast as the one before, which is more aimed at focusing on stretching those calf muscles out, getting a bit of movement, and really stretching those calf muscles to get you try and get your heels to the floor and get that extension through the back of your back, reaching out at the same time. Great. Right. Just going to do a few more of those. Really try and stretch that calf out dynamically rather than just standing or stretching. Now we're just going to go into a quick hamstring stretch because obviously we like those muscles as well. Just going to, what you want to do is straighten one, straighten one leg, bend the other. Um, but try, if you have to lean on a leg, try to lean on the supported one, the bent one, don't lean on the straight one. Um, but we're just going to sweep the floor really gently. Just changing legs. So we're just going to do that for 
hamstrings as well. So we used our hamstrings in those six stands to stabilize us in lots of the other movements. So that's these muscles at the back of the room. Okay, so just do a few more. You should be starting to feel your heart rate going back to normal now. And then we're just going to finish with a knee hug and set those, set those glutes out. One, two, three, and then hug your knee. Hug your knee and get to the ground. Okay, one more. Great. Well, well done everybody. Thank you for participating in this class today. Um, I will save the video so you can always come back to it and do it again. Um, I just want to say also it's very normal to feel a bit achy after doing exercise. Your muscles might feel a little bit sore for a few days. Um, if you're interested in doing exercise more often, it's recommended that people with osteoporosis do aerobic exercise, which is basically cardiovascular exercise such as cycling, swimming, brisk walking. It's recommended you do that three to five days a week. And then it's rec recommended you do resistance training as well, or strength training that we've just done, two to three days a week. So you might rewatch this video and do the exercises again, or just do some other strength-based exercises, um, which I'm sure you can find online. There's much more information on osteoporosis and living with osteoporosis on the Royal Osteoporosis Society website, some really helpful information and also on the website versus arthritis. Um, so if you're curious about any more questions for that, then please go and have a look. Um, but otherwise, I'll be back next Wednesday at 9am again with the same sort of exercise class. Okay, thank you very much.